Hey guys, welcome back to Primetime Studios. Like always, I'm your host, Primetime Phil, and today we're going to discuss a little bit about the Dallas Cowboys versus the Arizona Cardinals, but before we do any of that, I just want to wish you guys a happy new year, and I hope your upcoming year is an amazing one, especially if you're a Dallas Cowboys fan. I hope it gets a little bit better and special here in the next couple of months, if you know what I mean. So let's dive into the Dallas Cowboys versus the Arizona Cardinals. Now, Arizona's dealing with some injuries and some COVID stuff, but it's nothing new in the sense of what Dallas fans have had to deal with all year. We've had guys in and out with the injuries and COVID, and we still have it to this day. So we've never had a full roster, and it's amazing to watch what these guys have done. And yes, we have some more superstars in the mix, and so that should put us in the advantage. But guess what? Arizona is still the favorite to come out of this. So what does that say about this Arizona team? They can't use excuses that we have people in injuries and we have people with COVID. Again, Dallas has had to deal with this all year, and nobody cared that Dallas had to deal with this. The NFL didn't care. They don't care about that stuff when they talk about it in the media. They don't bring that up. Well, they've had an injury. No, they just talk about how they haven't been able to stop anybody. And I know that. So guess what? We don't care that they have injuries on the other side of the ball because, you know what? When it comes to what this team is going to do, they showed it last week against Washington when they were outmatched in the sense of what Washington was. You know, Dallas ran away with it. They they did what they were supposed to do, and that's what they need to do in this one is show the NFL that, yes, this team may have been a pretty good favorite here a couple of months ago. Again, even a team that I would have picked because they were looking amazing, playing some complimentary football. Kyler Murray was looking really good, even though he's, you know, down there and in the sense of my personal view of what quarterback should be in the NFL. But I'm not going to deny that he's an amazing quarterback. He can scramble around. But how long will that last? That's always going to be the question. So, again, let's dive into what Dallas is going to do offensively and defensively. And let's start with the offense first. So when we look at the offense for the Dallas Cowboys, you really have to do something you have not done in a long time and actually consider the defense for the other team. With Washington and New York being our teams that we previously went with, We've had the luxury of kind of getting our offense back on track with how we get the running game going, putting Connor Williams in there. Boom, figured it out. How do we attack zone coverages? Because we've had to deal with it since we've had to play against Denver on that opening game after the bye week. So did we figure that out? Boom, now our offense is going again. So now look at the guys like Arizona to probably play more man-to-man coverage, something that they were doing in the previous part of the year in the sense of teams that were attacking us. And so look for Dak to have to really kind of worry about blitzes because you have a guy like Buda Baker there that loves to pressure a quarterback and knows how to disrupt a running game, and they love to send him. So you need a quarterback that can read blitzes and knows where to go with the ball. And luckily, we have a very good one in tops in the league when it comes to that in Dak Prescott. So what will this defense do? Now, that's going to be a hell of a question because they have some stars and they have some guys also out. So don't let those Arizona fans or media fool you about how this team has injuries. They definitely don't have some on their stars in the sense of the defense. They have one or two guys out, but for the most part, they have their defense there. And guys that they had there, like Watts, isn't playing. Well, he's out for the season, and come on. He was playing for another team. He shouldn't even have been on your team in the first place. So what does this offense have to do? Well, they have to get the ball to Amari Cooper. They have to get the running game going. Of course, those are all factors that we know that we have to say, but when you have a guy like Schultz there as a security blanket for Dak Prescott, that's going to be a big thing, especially against these linebackers. They have a very good linebacking core and a very good defensive front. So what will we have to do? We have to attack their secondary. We have to make sure we leave Dak upright because that's where it's going to come to. Can they stop the running game? I think they can. Can they stop our running game? Oh, it's going to be a little bit iffier because you look at these guys like Tony Pollard and Zeke and they're looking healthier each week. And so I'm really looking forward to seeing what kind of factor they are going into this game. So what are the defense for the Dallas Cowboys going to have to do to stop the offense for the Arizona Cardinals? Let's talk about that and let's focus in a little bit about this championship type of defense. So when you look at the defense for the Dallas Cowboys and you look at the offense for the Arizona Cardinals, there's so many factors that come together and it really favors, to me, the Dallas Cowboys defense. As of right now, anyways, especially when you have a guy like DeAndre Hopkins that's out of the lineup. If you took a guy like Cooper out of our offensive lineup, it's a factor. Yes, you have some other stars in there, which Arizona also does, but each one has something that they do very well and I think this defense can still attack into the secondary because you have the ability to just rush four guys when you have Parsons, Gregory, and Lawrence and then you sprinkle in Neville Gallimore or Osa Adigizua. So having those guys just being able to get the pressure 
leaves your linebackers to be able to take on guys like the tight end, which I don't want LV really tidying him up. I want a guy like Javon Curse in that position since a guy like uh, Neil is on his second trip of COVID, and so we're not going to have him in the lineup. Now, when Neil came back the last time, he was never looking the same, and I'm kind of worried about what he's going to look like when he comes back into the playoff scenario. So what does his defense have to do against Kyler Murray? Well, first, you got to keep him in the pocket, and you got to put pressure on him to get him to backpedal to throw off his back foot. And I think this front can do that. And I think you can do it without bringing blitzes. But will Dan Quinn not be able to resist? I, I, I don't blame him if he doesn't, because this defense is very good when it comes to blitz, and it's not all the time. So to watch this defense kind of fly around the ball, especially young, everybody has fresh legs because they're being rotated around very well. And the COVID situation and the injuries has kind of helped in the sense of getting them fresh for the end of the year. And so again, staying healthy is always gonna be the key for this defense because as long as you have your guys in there, this defense is very good. And even when guys like Carlos Watkins, Basham, Basham last week, I said Basham was doing terrible only in the back street. And then look at him, he had amazing game. And, and I don't care if he hasn't been playing well all season to watch him finally do his thing was exciting and i was so happy for him but can he keep it going you had guys like dorance armstrong that was doing that same thing but then he disappeared so seeing these guys get fresh legs again and start to make pressures when they're in there with the other guys the other stars that we have on the team those are big factors and what this offense can do it's not going to matter if this defense can do what it does and just put its head right in your face and just say look man Pass against us, run against us. It doesn't matter. You're going to go sit down on the bench where our offense does what it does. So let's go look at the final outcome for this game. So when you look at the final outcome, you're trying to predict who's going to win it. The media believes that Arizona is going to win by three. And I understand their factors when they're looking at the smaller picture. But when you zoom out and you take into consideration that this Dallas Cowboys team is playing in front of a home crowd and they have amazing stats when they are playing at home, that is a big factor. And it's the whole reason why Dallas is trying to go for that number one seed other than the buy. So getting that second seed is a big thing too because honestly getting that home field advantage is going to be big for the playoffs. And that's really what it's all about in trying to win these upcoming games. So can we match up against them all across the board? I think we can. When it comes to getting pressure on the quarterback, we have the personnel to do it. Can we stop their receivers? They don't have DeAndre Hopkins. Yes, we have the personnel to do it. Can we block their good defensive line? Yes, we have the personnel to do it. Do we have a quarterback in a receiving core that can attack them? Yes, we do. And do we have a running game that can run it down their throat? Yes, we do. Do we have a kicking game? Eh, yes, kind of we do. And I mean, we have a good Greg Zerline in the sense that he's clutch. He's not the greatest when it comes to making everything. And what really kicker can say that consistently throughout the years? But, you know, he is clutch when it comes to the third and fourth quarter. And I'll take that, you know. So the kicking game has been there. And even Bones Fossil has been getting his guys in there for blocks. And you're hoping that one of those don't come into play later. But he's been timing it very well. He's been coaching very well in that sense. So that is a big factor as well. So I think across the board, we definitely have them matched up. So I think we can definitely take it to Arizona and give them some hope that, yeah, that we can take it to Dallas if we have Hopkins back. But I think we can squeak one by. I think we'll win like 30 to 24 because I really think this offense can move the ball because I think Arizona will try to go man to man. And I think our defense matches up very well against the Arizona offense. So leave in the comment. Let me know what you guys think the prediction of this score is going to be. If you're an Arizona fan, what do you think? How you think you're going to win it? Who's going to win it for you? If you're a Dallas fan, let me know who you think is going to win it for us. So like always, I'm Primetime Phil. I appreciate all the support. Hit that like button on the way out. But don't forget to always ring that bell.